I just can't let you go. Are they serious right now? Like, do they not know that they didn't pay me for this? Like, this is just like fully, I didn't even have to make a video. We are going garage sailing. I've done a Target sponsorship before. <laughs> I think that kind of threw me um, off the idea of wanting to do a sponsorship. Morning. <laughs> you want to know what a true morning and a life looks like? I make coffee, I warm up some milkies, and today um, our dishwasher broke, so that's what's going on today. Uh, yeah, we're having a real, real good time, real good time. My back is aching, still have to paint today, so we're off to a really good start. <laughs> Hi, happy Tuesday. I wanted to get on here because A, I just packed up some orders. I'm sorry, I did not take you on with me. If you watch my shorts, it will be on there. If you're on my TikTok, it will be on there, but it's not on me filming. I have two orders. One is from Etsy and they ordered three bookmarks. Mm, such a good deal. They got um, free shipping because I think on Etsy, it's like over $35 you get free shipping and she had over $35 and then, um, I want to say it was like an abandoned cart coupon. So if you like favorite something of mine or if you put something in your cart and then leave it, you get a coupon sent to you from Etsy. Well, like from me, but like through your email on Etsy um, and then you can use it. So she got three bookmarks with free shipping for like $34 after tax, which is a good deal. So we're going to get that. And then I have one TikTok order for a cherry bookmark. Hi, happy Tuesday. I wanted to get on here because A, I just packed up some orders. I'm sorry, I did not take you on with me. If you watch my shorts, it will be on there. If you're on my TikTok, it will be on there, but it's not on me filming. I have two orders. One is from Etsy and they ordered three bookmarks. Mm, such a good deal. They got um, free shipping because I think on Etsy, it's like over $35 you get free shipping and she, had over $35 and then um, I want to say it was like an abandoned cart coupon. So if you like favorite something of mine or if you put something in your cart and then leave it, you get a coupon sent to you from Etsy. Well, like from me, but like through your email on Etsy um, and then you can use it. So she got three bookmarks with free shipping for like $34 after tax, which is a good deal. So we're going to get that. And then I have one TikTok order for a cherry bookmark. And then I have, I'm so excited, <laughs> that Joe Brown tank sold on my Poshmark. And it is just like grasping to get a sale on uh, Poshmark. And they didn't even send me an offer. They just bought it. So wonderful. It's market day. Not really, sort of. It is a lot of markets in one day. We are going garage sailing. And that's because our neighborhood has its annual garage sale right now. And our neighborhood is made up of really cool 20s to like 50s style houses. And that means there's old people living in some of them. Probably. <laughs> yes, definitely. I've seen them. Um, and they love garage sales. They love hosting them. They love going to them. I love looking at people's houses. Um, I love knowing what they like, what they're into. I'm very nosy. It's just like part of my personality, I guess. Um, and so I'm really excited and I'm right now prepping for it. We are feeding Asher. It's just me and Asher going, let's be honest. Um, I asked Randy to go and he said no. Um, and so we're going on a very, very long walk throughout the entire neighborhood. Um, it's gonna take like hours um, and I'm excited. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I'm hoping we find someone that loves Lululemon that also is like a size medium. Maybe they gained a lot of weight, maybe they lost a lot of weight. 
regardless, they're giving away their Lulus. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, is it realistic? No. Am I realistic? No. So let's go. Oh my goodness, it was <laughs> so humid. I had just sweat just dripping down my face. It was that humid. People probably thought I was sick. Uh, we made it an hour and a half before it started raining very hard and I had to find a tree for cover and call Randy and be like, pick us up. Um, and so we're home now. I didn't get much footage because um, honestly there just weren't, <laughs> I think we hit four, maybe five tops garage sales I and mean, that was an hour and a half of walking and that's all we could find. Um, and so people, I think because it was set to rain, people were just like, nah, we're not doing it this year. Um, which sucks because... We didn't find any like hidden gem garage sales that had just like a bunch of cool things to look at. Um, I didn't even want to buy anything and then of course I did come home with some stuff. So let's do a little haul here. I will say I think I only bought from two houses. The first house, oh I'm so mad if I would have gotten there 10 minutes prior. I could have gotten this really cool Corvette um, car, like one of those automatic little toddler cars. Um, but when we were walking up the drive, a little girl was coming down the drive with the new car. Um, she seemed very happy, so I'm happy for her. It was just, it was really cute and it looked really good condition. And so um, we missed out, but we did end up snagging one thing for Ash. It was mainly just like kid stuff. Um, I got a pair of Adidas sneakers originally $37.98 on sale and she was selling them for $20 brand new and so they are his size. He needs shoes. I was like we might as well get them. Um, do I love them? No I don't but they're like kind of cute. They're just like they're whatever um, but he needs play shoes. But he doesn't like right now he just has and the next size up just one pair of like really cute Nike white shoes and of course I'm not gonna want him to wear white all the time. These are like playground shoes, you know? Daycare shoes. And then the rest is for me. So <laughs> I hit up the very last house right when I started pouring. I had just went in and it was seriously just women's size medium stuff. I didn't find my Lulu's like I wanted. <laughs> But I did find hopefully an outfit I can wear to work. I don't know if it's gonna fit. I'm hoping it does obviously um, I found a size medium Zara. Um, it's like a little like Skirt pant situation. So it looks like a skirt, but there are pants underneath and so I thought these would be cute for work um, I am a little nervous they're going to be tight. I'm almost positive they're going to be tight. And so like I need to lose maybe a little bit of weight to fit in that. I have not tried them on, clearly. Um, well, they're cute. And I do have a little bit of weight to lose. We all know this. And then I just found this basic white tank, um, not tank, t-shirt, where I was like, that'd be cute with it. Right? You can wear this with anything. Um, and they were both... Well, she gave me everything for $20, so I don't know how much it was supposed to be because then I got this little um, cute decor item. I think I'm going to put this in our bathroom, like on top of the toilet. Uh, cute. And then lastly from there, I have this cute little picture frame, brand new. I love the wood detailing on it, um, and it just has blues, and like our house is just like white and blue pretty much and black and so I'm like that's perfect for somewhere and um, so yeah all of that for $20 that's a deal sorry I thought I have um, more to show you as far as like the actual garage sales and like vintage stuff there just was not any it was just a lot of junk but like that is garage sales but I was expecting more so thank you all for joining me on this I'm gonna go wash my face um and then probably go to the gym because I'm so gross. Like, I can't even sit down in my house, you know? I'm that gross. And I feel like it's weird. It's 11.30 a.m. to take a shower and put my PJs on for the day. So we're going to go to the gym, take a shower, and then put our PJs on for the day. And so with that concludes the video. Our next show, like, Craft Market, is going to be July 12th. And that is in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. So... I don't have much to do, but I do just want to continue making bookmarks. That way I have a huge stock because, oh my goodness, in September comes 
zero, pretty much zero weekends of free time. And so I'm, I'm going to be working and we just need to get ahead of this. That's the plan. We need to get ahead. Hello, happy 4th of July for all of my American viewers. Happy 4th of July for all my non-American viewers too. It is the 4th. Um, we have two orders to pack out today. We are doing a night court bookmark. This one is going to Kylie in Arizona. And then we have our little butterfly charm necklace. She is going to Candace in Texas. So both going to similar areas. <laughs> They're both TikTok shop. Um, I know I've said this many times. I sell a lot more on TikTok than I do on Etsy. Um, Etsy, I'm pretty average getting like one to two orders a week, um, which is great, especially when I'm not like doing markets for the week. And then TikTok, we normally get an order at the moment right now since like everything slowed down like one every other day is pretty average so maybe like four a week really which i can't complain about because you know uh i could be getting zero a week <laughs> all right next market is next week in oxford it's a night market it's only four hours long and it's um under the sea themed and so i'm gonna do a special on my whale bookmarks and then i'll show you in a minute i did a couple little um, like under the sea Stanley charms. I did four of them. I'm um, just got to extra beads and I was like I'm not gonna sit on these because when else is there gonna be like an under the sea mar under the sea market and honestly I had forgotten like I went to return I returned all of them except for that pack like I must have just like accidentally set it aside um, or it like got scooted under somewhere from like a cat or something um, and so I found them and I was like well dang it um, I actually meant to return these. I think they still gave me the money for them. I'm pretty sure they did. It was like one of those like huge Timu like returns that I did. And um, I just don't think they counted them when they got them back because there was like hundreds of dollars worth of stuff I was returning. So there's that. I'll go ahead and set you guys down and do a little um, ASMR style packing real quick. And then I'll come back and talk to you some more. <laughs> studio vlog so like I said um we have a market next week and it is under the sea themed and so of course I have my whale bookmarks I think I'm gonna do like a discount on my um under the sea Oops, I'm showing it to you backwards under the sea stuff so maybe like 30% off just to like have a fun little deal I think I would bring these down to like 11 ish a little less than that um and then i also made some little sammy charms that have seashells on it so cute cute and then lastly are you carrying that around i haven't made them yet but i'm gonna be making some uh belt bag charms keychains that have whale pearl and seashells on them so that will come soon. I need to also open up. Are you gonna know how I was telling you? And well, if you didn't watch it, I do like Ipsy videos, but I was like saying I really want a spinny chair because I don't know if you guys caught it. I broke my chair um, that I have over there. All the bolts have like stripped and broken out, um, except for I think there's one that's like holding it together right now. So like, you know, we need to say goodbye to it. But I got a chair, it's like a viral TikTok chair that's like wide. And so it's just like you could sit crisscross on it. I have not opened it yet. It's just sitting over here. So we need to do that within the next week. Um, and then I did just get some Amazon packages in that have some like small business stuff in it. Dope, dope, dope. 
Duh. Okay, they can't. One of them is not small business related. One of them, I think is this one. Let's just go this off. Nope, this is small business stuff. <laughs> Okay, I got some new pliers because um, I have this Hobby Lobby set. And while they're nice, like they work and all, I have sensory issues. I've had them since I was little. It's textures, um, some of them make me want to puke. And this is one of those textures. I hate it. Whenever I'm making things, like I just like, I cringe the entire time. And I'm thinking like, why am I doing this to myself? Why am I putting through myself like through this when I can just buy some new ones for like 10 bucks, you know? Um, and so I finally did it and I'm so glad because ugh, bleh, like it truly makes me want to vomit. This does. Um, I did not buy this one, which is my metal um, wire cutter. So I will need to end up getting one of those. But for the moment, I should have both of these. So let's see. Here is this one. I think it's actually a little, no, I was gonna say smaller, but it's it's the same. Um, the only difference is it has a spring hinge versus whatever you call this one. So I'm excited to test that. I also got some of my little wires because I'm out, I'm completely out. I made everything I had with what I had and I ran out like two days ago and so yay we finally have them back these ones are 18 karat um gold plated and i love them they're like the only ones i ever want to use anymore they are more expensive though um which does suck but like they're very sturdy i know i need to buy like 10 of them at a time but i just can't wrap my head around spending that much money at one time um but i also found a uh, gold filled pen and I haven't tried them and so hopefully we like them otherwise they are being returned but they're like the same price so I don't know I don't know how it's gonna be so I've never had gold filled like fully gold um sticks <laughs> I forget the word for them um so I hope I like them okay let's see because I still want to do my Lux bookmark I've been talking about um, and I, if I can say like, well, I couldn't because I still can't get the sticks fully gold filled because that would be like a hundred dollars, you know, for a bookmark, but I can get gold plated and get like, make it into like, depending what beads I've been on looking at beads and I found some really cool, like rare ones where it still would be pretty expensive. And so I don't know how, like how much I want to do. Them. Oh, hello. Okay. I I'm all about this one is yeah that's nice I'll have to see how easy it is to work with but I think I might have found my new eye pen and I'd be like mm, some of it's like gold filled you know like that's even fancier pearls I ran fully out of these and for some reason I didn't realize that but like almost all of my beads have this size pearl in it or almost all my bookmarks and so these are necessary also, thankfully, I don't know where I got the last set of my pearls from, but like a third of them were stuck to the other ones. And so like I had to throw away so many pearls because like when you take them apart, when they like um, are glazed like together, the one pearl, normally at least one of them would have a side like, like chunk of it, the glaze taken off. Um, and these I am looking at and none of them are like that. So I will reorder from this person again <laughs> and lastly second lastly i have some tent lights because next week's a night market and so um i'm gonna need some light in my tent and the last market we did that was nighttime we brought a camping light and it just was not enough and so i'm gonna have four of these and the reviews like they were bright and then i'll have that like camping light if i need it so i'm excited to try these and i love how they have the little hook you can truly just like hang it up on your canopy and then the very last thing <coughs> is the other um stick <coughs> or plier i don't know what my words i need to expand my vocabulary before i go back to work another spring i saw a couple of reviews saying it didn't like fully close and this one does so that's great 
I'm curious. So like obviously these ones are a lot longer, but I wonder if the nope the tips look the same. I was like, I hope that this might even go smaller and have a tinier little loop, but it's not. It's the same. Um, so yeah, I will use these and I'll let you know what I think of them. But I think already I'm liking them. I think I'm not loving. I constantly am just like <laughs> working with something and then I accidentally like <laughs> veer off and then I stab myself and take chunks out of my skin and so um whenever you see little cuts on me it's almost always from this and the thing I'm seeing right now is that I don't have as much space to like when I do veer off um correct myself and so I feel like my thumb is just gonna get my thumbs are gonna get destroyed so I'll let you know on that too <laughs> all right and now what I need to do is get off of here, go drop those packages off, um, and then because TikTok is psycho about their, I don't think I've mentioned this. I know well, like sort of, but like you're on a time frame with TikTok, and it's like very, very tight that time frame. Some orders come in, it's like you have 12 orders to get this shipped, and then some orders are like you have 48 hours. I don't know how that works. I have no idea. Like I said, it's probably user error to something. I don't like have my processing time correct in TikTok. Um, but regardless, I've never gotten an order to the post office. Um, past like the 12 hour mark. So I always get it there, but then I have no control of when they scan it in unless I'm physically at the post office and like in the line for them to scan it. And like, I just don't have time for that half the time or I don't I don't get there on time for them to do that. Um, and so a lot of times I just drop it off at the blue box before their hours in, right? So they're still gonna pick it up, but like sometimes they don't scan it still. Like even when you're at the blue box, um, they must have it in a bin waiting on the next shift or something. Um, but I've had it sometimes where it has taken three days for them to scan my thing in. And like when they finally scan it, it's not even in my area anymore. It's like at a distribution center states away. Um, it just hasn't been scanned. So I've gotten docked on like points or like quality points on TikTok. And it's so frustrating because like I said, I've always gotten it within 12 hours to the place. But my shipping score is not great. Like it's good, but it's not like excellent. You know what I mean? Um, whereas I feel like I am in that excellent time frame. So it's it's frustrating. I always like try to get it out like as soon as possible. And it does create stress on me. And so if they could like fix that issue, that would be great. Cause I don't think like when I print out my thing and say when it's ready for shipping, once I print, like it's go, it's within the hour, like gone and at the post office. And so I don't think I should be docked for the post office not being on it. Anyways, biggest thing here is if you're thinking about doing TikTok, um, try to just have, go inside in the line and have them scan it. Cause that's going to make your score the best. Um, it's just a lot of work, especially when you have a toddler and like dragging them inside. It's just not always possible or like you're on a timeline and you can't spend like 20 minutes in line, you know? All right, enough ranting. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> and um, I will be back maybe today, maybe another day. Um, definitely organizing. <sighs> Thank you. Hey there, we have some more packing to do. It is one day later, so not too bad as far as picking up the camera for you guys. Um, but first, before we pack anything, some call it mm, excessive. I call it worth it, <laughs> but I am out of my branded Chunky Bee stickers and I use, this is the excessive part, four per package, sometimes five. And so we need more. Um, so I have this, this is, where did I get this? I got it on Amazon. I don't, it's just like from an off brand seller. It's not from like, um, cause I use Jaden's printer. I don't use the Jaden's. I don't think I've ever actually purchased from Jaden's for their printer paper, but like a lot of people make thermal labels. And so I found one that looks kind of like uh, sparkles. And so we're gonna make some chunky ones out of it. I really love my last ones, which were, I think I might still have one. Nope, just cause I ain't ran out of them. Um, were tie dye. I also just like plain white ones. 
Okay, I'll, I have a kitty here and he has been munching on the packaging. So when you see him pop into frame, yeah, you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. I'm going to throw it away. So let's get this set up. Let me move my <laughs> shipping labels out of the way so you don't see anyone's information. Brandy's gonna be popping in the background eating as well or making food. Uh, okay, I need to remove this. can't see, sir. This, again, not sponsored. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you. Um, they tried to reach out to sponsor me, Jade and Sid, and I said, um, no, but thank you. Um, I love my printer, I do. Um, but at the moment, I just don't feel like confident in doing any kind of collabs or even really gifting. Um, plus I have one, you know, and I'm more than happy to tell you guys for free that I love it Okay, so I have my labels loaded now. I just need to go get my phone and bring the app up So I've showed you guys this before. This is the Jaden's app um, I go into DIY labels because I've already made one before that works and so I just reprint it. It's very very easy. Let me go See right there. I want to say I have a couple that have even like my uh, TikTok and my YouTube on here, but this one's just a plain one. So we're going to print. I always start with a few of them just to make sure it's even, but it really hasn't ever been wrong. And she's beautiful. I still like the tie-dye a little bit better. Um, I feel like it pops more with my logo, but I think that's cute. So we're gonna make a ton of them. I can only get 50 at a time, but I just keep reprinting over and over 50. And then the next fun part is um, actually rolling this, which we'll do that later because we're going to pack some stuff. Um, but yeah, so I told them no on the sponsorship collab. Um, I just, and I think I've mentioned this before, I don't feel in a spot where I'm like comfortable doing those anymore. I used to do them and, and I can go more in depth with like that kind of thing later. I just like, even when I had a lot of my followers that actually watched my videos, I still, like, it made me uncomfy. I don't like doing sponsorships. I don't like there being pressure on, like, a video performing. Um, and right now, like, I I couldn't even tell someone how, like, many views I would get. Like, I'd probably at this moment get maybe 200 views, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I, I don't <laughs> want to do any kind of collabs. Um, that could change in the future, like, once I start, like, rebuilding more again if that ever happens who knows um but at the moment it's gonna be a no from me and that's just what i've been sending a lot of times i don't even respond because it's just like bulk emails but sometimes they'll send me one and i won't respond and then they'll send me a follow-up and then i feel obligated to respond just saying um thank you for thinking of me but no thank you you know what i mean <laughs> but yeah i thought Jaden's was a fun one because like i've done like i love them so that is one that i would potentially do in the future i've done a target sponsorship before and i think that kind of threw me um off the idea of wanting to do sponsorships because i felt so bad and that was when i was getting like a good amount of views um that video i did for them one it was dumb and two uh i got like nothing that was like my lowest viewed <laughs> video i think for like uh, that entire year so yeah i don't i don't love doing sponsorships um and i would never want to do a dedicated sponsorship video which a lot of people want you to do uh no thank you no thank you no thank you i can integrate it for sure for sure for sure for sure um but never again doing just like a video specifically for that thing <laughs> i used to do a lot of gifting though like i would love doing gifting because i didn't feel like the pressure isn't as much there but also i'm like well they're getting like ten thousand views from this like it is exposure um 
but now it's like oh they're getting 200 views from this like it's really not benefiting anyone other than me <laughs> okay anyways <laughs> the first one we're packing is oh so i mentioned i have 10 of these left actually nine of eight of them now left they're my little doggy bookmarks that are so precious she's so adorable so i sold one um, I think I have one on Etsy in stock, and then I have, like, um, seven on TikTok. But I will, like, rearrange those, like, stocks. If Etsy would sell, I would, like, list another one, if that makes sense, and then take one off of TikTok. I need to get a new battery. This one is going... Oh, my goodness. How... I don't know if I'm gonna... Oh, there's something in my throat. I just ate... Well, since you're in my pantry. Um, I just ate some of Aldi's birthday cake yogurt pretzels. So good, so good. Uh, they taste like frosting. Maxim, Maxim. So sorry if that's not how you say it. I'm almost positive that's not how you say it, but that's what we're gonna call you today is Maxim. Maxime, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. It's a weird way, well, it's a different way to spell it. Um, it's definitely Maxim. It's spelled M-A-K-S-Y-M. Kind of a cool way to spell it, but my brain could not register that. So, anywho, she got this cute little doggy bookmark. Um, she's going to love him. This is one of my absolute, I think it is my favorite. Like, I don't like picking favorites, but it has to be this one. Um, the second favorite is my gummy bear one, which only, like, she does not do well online. She does pretty good at markets, though. Um, I don't know why she doesn't do well online, though. She's adorable. I guess let's just keep talking about... Um, branding and stuff because why not uh also two of these are going to illinois two of the four are going to illinois which i found a little odd i get a lot of illinois orders i did a, a native collab before um that was fun for me of course because i love native uh did it do well for them no it did not <laughs> Actually, no. That is such a lie. That did amazing for them. No, yeah. I, that video has like 5 million views. What am I talking about? I think that's the video. Okay, just kidding. That was amazing for them. And that was just a uh, gifting. And so I didn't even get money for it. Not that I wanted money for it. When I say some videos... You know, maybe I just need to go back to doing workout videos because those are my highest views, but they also, I'll say it again, they get you the views that you do want, but they get you the views you do not want. So, you gotta be a little careful with that. Because, sure, I can get a really high-performing video and then get a lot of subscribers from it, but then those subscribers might be people that are only wanting gym content, and that is not what I do. I do very much small biz and lifestyle and so then I'll post a lifestyle or small biz one and then I'll get people unsubscribing because that's not what they signed up for and they're like who is this person this is not you know like as I do that I've I've um <laughs> signed up whatever subscribe to people that do a videos that I like and then I'll be in my subscriptions and get just like a random video and like who is this person like I wouldn't have subscribed to like a Bitcoin like presentation you know what I mean um and so I would unsubscribe so I feel like it's that kind of thing so you just need to sure I could do a lot of like athletic videos and get a lot of views but that's not what my channel is going to like focus on by any means it's those people that say you gotta niche down you kind of do, you kind of do, um, <laughs> but I also don't want to fully do that because I've, I do enjoy doing like empties videos and unboxings and I do like doing haul videos. I don't do a ton because I don't buy a ton of stuff, um, so I usually just incorporate what I do have, but this order is going to Jennifer in Pennsylvania and she got a cutie little star charm for her tumbler you also get people that want to um pay you absolutely nothing and make you do a ton of things for them and they're like i had this is again like i'm getting lots of views okay i'm doing a lot of like thrifting i'm doing a lot of hauls um i had a 
I'm gonna blast them so I won't, but a very popular store in Columbus, Ohio, reach out to me and say, hey, we'll give you $50 of shopping credit if you come do a dedicated um, tour of our store and try on in our store. And I'm thinking, I would love to go to the store, one. Um, but I live, at the time, I live further now, but at the time I lived an hour and a half away. I was like, that's three hours of driving. That's pretty much going to take up most of that $50 they're giving me, right? Um, and then it's just going to be a ton of work of me, like, filming. I'm going to spend a day, like, filming and, like, editing. And um, at the end of the day, like, I'm basically giving them money <laughs> to like put it on and so I kindly told them um I was like I would love to do this for you but I'm gonna need something more <laughs> than that because I think I told them like I think I would need like at least a hundred to a hundred and fifty to make that like worth um my time you know and I was like that could be credit you know, like shopping credit. And they basically were just like, no. <laughs> and said that they would maybe consider me in the future. And so like, you will get rejection, like when you ask for things, but like, you also need to know your worth. And in that moment, my worth was higher than what they were trying to give me. As cool as the experience, sure would, I don't even think it would actually be that cool. <laughs> so yeah, um, be okay saying no, especially like, I think when people start first getting sponsorships and, like, gifting, you want to say yes to everything. And, oh, my gosh, like, I was that person. Not sponsorships, but, like, giftings. I think it took, like, a year and maybe two years in when people started, like, asking. You know, I think it was only a year in um, if they could send me stuff. And the, when I tell you, I said yes to pretty much everything. I said yes to pretty much everything. <laughs> I was getting... <laughs> Oh, I don't even think this site is around anymore, but my first gifting video, I it was from like a Shein type place, and um, I got to pick out the clothes and everything, and that was such a fun experience, and then when they came in, and it was from a Shein type place, like half of it didn't fit, and so I brought in my skinny friend. <laughs> Sarah and had her try on half of it for the video I think I had mentioned like oh this runs small but like why did I even show that stuff you know what I mean like it was cute don't get me wrong like it was definitely my style and everything but like if it didn't fit me I could have just shown it and been like and I got this and it runs small and so you should order two sizes up you know and instead I had uh, my friend there trying it on it was weird it was weird you do weird things <laughs> or I did at least when you first start out. I think I was just wrapped up in the idea of like, ooh, I wanna do this again with them and so I don't wanna not show everything. And then of course I just gave her all the stuff to keep. Next up we have Ashley in Illinois again. Um, got a strawberry bookmark. Ugh, there was one time I was <laughs> doing, I used to do a ton of subscription boxes. Now I really just do Ipsy. Um, oh, the way I would love if Trunk Club could come back. Sometimes I do Stitch Fix subscriptions still. Um, but I used to get a ton of people wanting me to um, do like free gifting reviews of their subscription boxes. And on those I would do dedicated videos because like they take me a while. Um, and I only like doing like 10 to 20 minute videos typically. <laughs> so I did one on, again, I don't want to blast the company. Um, but... I did one on a really, it, like, the concept was really cool. It was a box that, like, um, people from, like, women from third world countries would, like, make some of the stuff. And I loved the concept. I loved how it was supporting them. And I did the video, and I thought it was nice. Like, I thought, like, the editing was nice. I thought everything was, like, really good. I am goofy, though. I, like, I am clumsy at times. I... <laughs> just like I'm not like super serious and so I and it was free the box was free but I wasn't a sponsorship it was like a we're gonna give this to you we hope you film a video for us type thing you know um so I filmed it edited it um good to go I would just gave them the courtesy I was like I um filmed the video and I gave them the video to like view but it wasn't like 
Um, like when you do sponsorships, typically they want you to send it to them so they can review it and make some edits if they want. Um, but this was not that case. And so I sent it to them. I'm like, I'm going to post it later today. Just wanted to give it to you ahead of time um, so you can see it. Because I wanted them to know I did the video and like I enjoyed it and like thank you. You know, even though you should thank me too. Um, and they sent back... <laughs> A ton of edits they were like we don't want you laughing at this part um we find it devalues our box like it was just me being goofy like mispronouncing something and then like saying sorry and like basically like, I'm dumb you know what I mean um or um there's one spot where like I accidentally fumbled like with my hands on something and like I laughed you know um and I'm just like are they serious right now like, do they not know that they didn't pay me for this? Like, this is just, like, fully... I didn't even have to make a video. And so I wrote back. And I, I was nice and everything. But I was like... I, at this point, I already spent hours filming and um, editing. And I was like, I was just sending this to you as, like, a courtesy. I was like, I am not... At this point, I am not willing to um, make any changes. Because, like, they were, like, absurd. Like, the things they wanted me to change. It wasn't... I was not being at all rude. I even, like, in the video was so, like, kind and, like, I I wanted people to get the box. Like, I wanted them to support them. But I was like, I uh, apologize that this is not um, up to the standard that you wanted. I was like, but I'm not going to be making edits. And so I would be more than happy to not, um, just, just not upload the video. And we can be, like, part ways from here. And they, of course, responded... Um, no, please upload the video and, um, it's fine. And then obviously we never work together again. They didn't even want me to, so <laughs> there, there was never a follow-up of like, hey, can we send you another box? You know, they were done. I was done. So that was like one of the like most ick moments in it. Like you have to realize when you do giftings, like companies doing giftings, like typically... <laughs> They are getting more out of it than the creator, like the exposure, depending on, like right now, I wouldn't give someone enough exposure, and I'm telling you this, like I would not give someone enough exposure to gift me something. Um, and I'm aware of that, and that's why I don't like and want to do giftings. Um, but, and a lot of creators, if you have like a big creator, when you get gifted, it's typically going to help them more than you, because you have to spend so much time editing and filming, you know? Like, sometimes, obviously, it's beneficial. Like, I, I watch people that do... Like, Monica um, does a lot of uh, videos for um, Vertical Ledge. Beautiful, beautiful display stuff. And she has really made me want to get Vertical Ledge stuff someday. You know what I mean? Like, there are times when um, it's mutually beneficial because now she has a really adorable booth, you know? <laughs> but... Like, if I'm showing native deodorant, you know, it's not that beneficial. Like, I, sure, I get a few free deodorants, but it's like, I could have, I went to this, I could have go to the store and get this for like 20 bucks, you know? <laughs> I don't need it. Anyways, if you would like to hear more about any kind of um, gifting collab type questions, feel free to leave it below and I can, I can discuss that sometime because I am not ashamed to. This last one is going to... Danya, Dania in New Jersey and she got a pretty little charm necklace. Does this feel like deja vu to you? I think it does because we packed this up yesterday to someone. I'm also at the end going to put a packed on YouTube sticker on everything because technically it is being packed on YouTube right now. All right, I'm going to finish um, putting these together and I will see you guys very soon in another video doing organization and maybe packing stuff. Oh, and putting the chair together. Oh my goodness, I still need to put that chair together. My husband's getting a little um, antsy on it too because he's like, how much did we spend on that? It was only $70. And it feels like sturdy and like hefty. And so I think it's going to be a win. All right, package up, take to the post office and I'll see you later, bye. Oh my gosh, almost forgot that. I appreciate you, comment, say hello, let's chat, and I will see you in the next week, bye.